hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for clicking so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i do my boho locks but first we're going to be talking about this new item the edge control which is what i'm going to be using for my clients i do have the link to the edge control in my description box as well as the rat tail comb and the magnetic wristband for applying your edge control so that it's easy for you to you know braid your client hair so you don't have to keep going back to your edge control container so yes don't forget same day um same day shipping you get your tracking number the same day that you place your order so my clients do want a free part for this hair and I normally start like this with my free parts. Again, I do have a tutorial on how I do my free parts, but my clients want the middle parts, um, side parts, or any part that they want. But this is how I do my free parts. So no boxes, just free parts. Free part just makes the hair more, I don't know, natural, flexible to me. Because when it's boxes, you can either go middle or side, but free part, you can just like flip it. It doesn't really matter. You just flip it basically. So now, I am going to um, braid my clients here individually before I start um, doing the locks that we are trying to do today. So while you're braiding, try not to braid too tight because again, you have to, um, if you do the crochet, if you have to crochet the spring tooth here under the braids, then you don't want to braid it too tight, you know, because you you know, the, 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 um, the crochet hook has to go in between through the hair base because I don't want to braid too tight just so we have some type of room for the um spring tooth hair and I am so happy because we are doing color 613 so I love when my clients are trying to get the bold color she books for color 613 and and at some point during the you're doing the apartment sorry <laughs> During the appointments, we wanted to add, you know, some colors, so we went and we threw in color black, and we only had, I think, about mm, four or five counts of the black, and she likes them, so I'm really happy that she did like them because she didn't know if she wanted to add the colors or not. And we used a total of six packs of the spring twist here, and that is with the... um the color one be included so we use a total of six packs and we never really finish all the six packs so she wanted the shorts but i'm thinking i went a little bit above the short length you know but yeah she wanted the length short but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and finish um braiding this hair and i'm going to show you guys how i do the style and also i did use the hot water for this style so when i was done I just use the hot water to massage my clients. And people have asked me, what does that do? It just makes the lock softer and sometimes even lightweight. You know, my clients, when I massage their head or their hair with um, the hot towel, they normally, you know, tell me they feel lighter and it just makes it more lighter, you know, more flexible and just softer overall. So I do that for all my clients. So that is, that is, um, that is the work of the, you know, the hot towel that you're going to see me use at the end of this, um, this video. I also do have the hair link in my description box. So yes, we have it in different colors as well. So now we're done and, um, I wanted to count my clients here because people normally ask me how many counts are the locks. And sometimes I don't count them just because I just forget. But for this one, I had to count them for you guys. And we had about 50 counts of the individual locks. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do the style. So I already did a few. So now I'm going to go ahead and crochet in my one and a half strand of the spring tooth here. Again, you can use two strands or even one strand to start. It all depends on the size that your client is going for. So now people usually ask which one has to be longer. As you can see, I'm checking the length and I was making sure that what I am wrapping on was the length of the locks that I'm trying to do, which I wish in this case is short. So I was trying to make sure that we, we are on the same page when it comes to the length. And then I went and I started wrapping just because I would have to keep attaching more sprinkles here. So it makes sense for the one that I'm going to be wrapping. Oh, sorry 
the one that I'm going to be wrapping over here has to be longer than what I am wrapping with. And to create the loop, I use my thumb. Again, you don't have to have long nails. Your nails can be short and you'll be able to do the thumb method, you know, as well. So now we're attaching some more strands. And I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to attach it, basically. Just so that when you do that, it's going to be very secure because you do have a good amount of hair left. And then you start wrapping just so that you have a nice um, secured connection, basically. And hopefully in the next video, I'm going to be zooming so you guys can see how I do the thumb thingy. Every time I try to show you guys, sometimes the camera does not really show exactly what I'm doing. Because again, I'm recording with myself. So hopefully this video actually helps you guys to see what I was doing. And I think in the other ones, you probably see better. And I also have a video of my other um, lock tutorial as well. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll be willing to answer. I'm sorry if this video or the tutorial was not as descriptive as my other ones. But, you know, I just moved, so I'm just trying to get my setting all together and my lighting as well. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you.
Thank you.